Hi guys, uh, welcome Hi. to this week's episode of the Film Review Show. Uh, this week I'm joined by special guest Oliver O'Dell. I'm a special guest. On the right. And special. special guest um, Matthew Kelleher on Hi. the left. Do you hear every time? Yeah. <laughs> Not every time. Oh, I can't believe it's been another week. <laughs> Just uh, bear with us at home. So this week, uh, guys, we watched um, Harry and Paul. No, Adam we watched Paul. Adam, Adam, Paul. Adam and Paul, uh, an Irish film. Yeah. Um, first off, I, will, um, I feel like I should introduce you as well, and we'll do that now. Matthew Gallagher is a seasoned film critic of many years, and Oliver O'Dell is a seasoned film critic of many years. Matt, what did you what did you think of Adam and Paul? It was an interesting film. I mean, um, I mean, like uh, like like last week's uh, off in the room. It was a little bit of a slow burner. Um, you know, um, it sort of explored the theme um, the, the theme of uh, just sort of the, the aimlessness of uh, Vegas. You know, just sort of drifting from one situation for the for the next. Like they always they always had hope of, of, you know, um, getting a little bit better, you know, getting a little bit more money or just uh, having some, um, having some food or some smokes, um, but, um, but, you know, they always just seem to sort of tumble back to the bottom, you know, whenever there's a, a glimmer of hope. Describe the film a little bit so they know what it is. Oh, it's right. like two, two homeless uh, companions, really, on the streets of Dublin, I think it was, and, um, yeah, the, you know, they're just trying to survive, really, going from one incident to the next, uh, ping pong around, uh, trying to score drugs and, and booze or whatever, whatever they can get. Mm. Yeah. I think uh, I think it's pretty much uh, given a pretty good synopsis for the guys at home. That's. Um, that's should pretty much what you can expect when you Should we start it. again? Start again, right? Okay. Because... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we will... We will uh, yeah, we'll We sort of had to. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll, yeah. Yeah. That's your job, really. I mean, come on. Yeah, I know, Jim. We'll yeah. set the question. Then. No, well, in, in the description I put, I described the film. Oh, right. Well, that's... And, yeah, they'll know, they'll know what... They'll and know what it is they're looking at. Yeah. I mean, come on. And, and the point of this is it's straight, straight away. I have to and be there's one the take. Yeah. Which so this is going to be in it as well. It's great. Yeah, no, I mean, it's not going to ruin it at all, is it? It's, it's, it's no. When you look at the uh, imagery of, like, Dublin, when it's uh, it's all quite bleak, isn't it? It's, like, grey. Yeah. And cement and, and council houses. But they always play a nice, delicate, beautiful music over yeah. the top of it. There's, there's, a word, there's a word for that that I can't sort of pronounce upon it. It's a German word. We, we were talking about it the other. It d it does shoot many yeah. different scenes in different places to keep you interested, yeah. because it needs to really because there's just two homeless people walking from one place to the next really isn't it? But you um, say that it's a sad film. Well, it's it's kind of supposed to be um, dark humour. Uh, I think it's dark humour because. It is kind of the the content is dark. It's bleak, you know. They're homeless, and it's very sad for them. Uh, and they get themselves so down in the dumps, so bottom of the gutter, that you can't help but laugh in some situations, isn't it? It's, yeah, no, it, no. There is a little bit of pathos and stuff. Like that. Um, yeah. Um, I want tries to punch a car window through to mug someone inside. He smashes that. And he just hurts his hand on it. And at that point, you just think, oh, God, I can't believe they're doing this, you know. And it's just to, so they can get any money they can to be the habit. Um, what was, Matt, Matt Callagher, um, what was your favourite scene? Oh, yeah, um, I, think, I think my favourite scene was the, um, the sort of bungled um, petrol station heist. Uh, that, that was a little bit of the sort of, um, sort of black humour, you, you know, um, all they had to do was um, was kind of um, sound the horn and any sign of trouble while those guys um, 
sort of um, try to rob the um, gas station, but um, but you know they're so they're so you know because of the lifestyle they're so they're so aimless. You know they they're not able to sort of um, think coherently from one moment to the next. And, you know they just completely missed the uh, the police guy or something. Up. And obviously uh, they made some more enemies for themselves along the way. And yeah, and yeah, they just uh, they just sort of um, set themselves up really. Perhaps unwittingly, you know, he just sort of fall deeper and deeper, and they make more enemies on the way. I mean, he could sort of, you could sort of see, you know, the initial scene where he's sort of in the park, you know, the the scene those guys. Everyone just thinks, you know, oh, you know, there are a couple of wasters. These guys, you know, they're no good. You know, they just um, troll follows them wherever from they go. They bring it on themselves basically. But, but you know, they sort of dug themselves into such a hole. You know, they've they've really not got a, a lot of hope of getting out of it. I'll never favourite scene. Um, there was a, a, a part in the film where they haul a TV up a flight of stairs and uh, they try and sell it off to some shifty dealer and um, ends up getting smashed, the screen. And then you see the look on the faces oh, yeah. change. So disappointing. It's like a glimmer of hope in their eyes and then that just fades and goes and dies. And, they're just, and they can't believe the look. It's back to square one again. They've got yeah. nothing. They had something. They had a stolen TV. Now they've lost it. You know. It's the same with it, the car as well, isn't it? It's all these little like, incidents. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, it's it's a screw up on everyone. Yeah, that's it. They go around screwing up all the chances they get, and they all just end straight back to the beginning, straight back to having nothing. And you can't help but laugh. That's it's it. The film is brilliant because it does that to you. It makes you laugh at things that you yeah. shouldn't do, shouldn't laugh at. Yeah. That's why it's like called a dark comedy. You're sort of rooting for the um, for the heroes to sort of do better, but you know you can sort of see, you can see the sort of um, iceberg sort of coming up. You know you can sort of see the mm. disaster coming for them whenever there's a glimmer of hope. You know you can sort of preempt it in a way, but I think that's what is intended with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that that bit where he, uh, where he has no way to have a have a crap. Yeah. So he has it in the street and then uh, he offers him like a crisp packet to wipe That's himself. Not good, is it? <laughs> and that is just Yeah. Bottom of the bowel again. Yeah. Bottom of the gutter <coughs> stuff. Fucking hard. I'm fucking late. I'm be fucking head. Why can't things be easy? Just for once. Just for once to be easy and fine and relaxed. And to be lucky. Just to be that fucking luck is all. Um, well, what do you think it's like to be harmless? I think it's um, it's 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 obviously very very difficult. You have to live from one meal to less and less. You have to live from from day to day. It's um, not something that I've experienced. But I, th- it's, I think uh, you get a good sense of it just yeah. from walk from being in Mi- Manchester Piccadilly yeah, uh, train do. station, and when you walk down there, all the way to Piccadilly Gardens, you pass about five or six homeless people, and that's no exaggeration. You no, know? That's, that's and um, you just have a look at them you'll get a good sense of what it is to be homeless yeah. do you um, do you speak to, speak to them I give them a bit of change from time to time Some, sometimes like um, like you know you might might, might sort of buy a, buy a big issue if I sort of have a bit of change stuff like that and like um, have you done that yeah I have yeah like maybe just like sometimes like a lot of them are quite friendly like might make a bit of a conversation about I don't mind about, about what they're doing, like you know, like one. I, I don't mind giving yeah. a bit. Of, sorry, I don't yeah, mind giving a bit okay. of change because yeah. some people frown upon that. It's like, oh, don't you just feed in the habit? I don't. No, we sh- don't we'd, give a shit. Give them yeah. a bit of change. Yeah. If they want to spend it on drugs, they can go and spend it on drugs. You know, they're living on the street. You know, yeah. they can't be worse off than that. It's like, um, and being living on the street here in England as well. Is much worse than say living on the street in like another foreign like Spain country because it's much colder in this country than anywhere That's true. else. So an island as well, it would be cold. Hmm. Yeah, they've got to bear. They've got to go through that. 
Who was your favourite character? Adam or Paul? Who who was who was the shorter one? See if. Uh, I think it was Paul for sure. Was, it was Paul? Yeah, I think I think Paul was a little bit more of a sympathetic character. Like he sort of he sort of felt bad of don't about it. Don't quote me on that. I'm not. No, no. Sure. All right. Well, we'll we, we can start to correct it on the, the annotations. The shorter one. The shorter yeah. one. Yeah, no, he's a bit more of a sympathetic character because in the scene where they sort of um, try to um, try to rob that guy who's who's vulnerable and you know he's, he's getting the bus, um, he he he's the one that feels bad about it. The other guy just just doesn't give a shit. Um, but when he's not when he's not got anything and, and he's just leaving, shaken, you know, it's and he doesn't know what he's doing, where he's going. But um, but but yeah, the, the shorter one is definitely the more sympathetic of the two characters. Uh, he, you know, he's. Um, is is probably more vulnerable as well. The other one is a little bit more um, hardened, uh, but obviously he, he does look out for for his for his friend. And and yeah, and at the end, yeah, the, uh, you've got the tall one, yeah. sort of like the leader. Yeah, definitely. And is, he yeah. uh, he'll he'll take uh, you know the shorter one, Paul, place and place, and Paul just agree with it because he doesn't have any ideas. He's he's, he's a bit of a simpleton, isn't he? The shorter one doesn't really know yeah. what's going on. Um, but yeah, they're both sympathetic, I think, and they're both that they, they haven't got a malicious bone in the body. Yet everyone seems to hate them because they're homeless and they've got nothing, and it disgusts most people, like it does in life. Okay. Um, before I come on to your scores out of ten, mm -hmm. um, I've got two more questions up my sleeve. Firstly, would you watch it again, Ollie? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, but um, it's one of those films where you've seen it once. You you know you you know what to expect really. Um, but I would watch it again. Yeah, because it's really good. Matthew, I might I might watch it again. Uh, possibly, possibly watch it again. It isn't it isn't sort of um. It is it is sort of a challenging film. It isn't one that you can just sort of um. To sort of sort of kick back and uh, and sort of switch your brain off, you know, it's up to sort of um, tackle some some big issues. So it would be, you know, I just had to set a bit of time aside to to watch it again. But it's a good film, so yeah, I think I might watch it again at some point. Yeah. What did you think of the ending? Um, the ending, um, you know, it's it's very sad. You know, we seem to have um, had a bit of a, a run of um, sad films this last couple of uh, weeks. Um, you, you know, with the last one being the the room, you know, a very very sad, very sad ending. You know, with one of the tragic. most um, uh, sympathetic characters um, meeting an end in an, in an equally tragic way. You I know, cried. Just, yeah, I yeah. It, it, I, I think um, I think I was sort of. Um, we had to stop the film, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It was it was in this area. So I I, I think. Um, Understandably. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think the room did sort of. Uh, portray that that sad ending a little bit more convincingly than um, than Adam and Paul, but you know it's a, it's it's a sort of. Uh, I remember when we put the film on, Adam and Paul. Yeah. He just said, um, "This is the complete opposite," because uh, it's not um, the opposite. He it? said it was a naturalist. Oh, yeah. what was it? Naturalist? Oh, actually, that's that's the point. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I mean, um, I mean, it is a lot more naturalistic. They have the sort of authentic, yeah, thick um, Irish accents, whereas um, I think the room. Attempts to be naturalistic in a way, but it doesn't quite. It didn't quite achieve it. Like it was, it was like um, a sort of uh, primary just, school. You've got your phony American accents <laughs> on that. On the I American think they were real American accents, but it just, it just wasn't. It just wasn't sort of the way people hey, thought Mark, of it. That's a really. Yeah. <laughs> it's not phony at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, fair enough. <laughs> so, Matthew. Yeah. Max up ten. Um. I'm gonna give this, you know, like the room. You know, it's a, it's an, it's a sort of um, an interesting and enjoyable film. You know, it's a, a square meal. I'll give it a, um, I give three and a half uh, bundles out of five. So that's uh, seven out, seven out of ten. Yeah, yeah. Oliver O'Dell. Okay. Max I've, out of ten. I've got to rate this one highly, so I'm gonna give it um, eight and a half crisp packets out of ten. I think. Soiled Chris Beckett. Yeah. Okay, so that's... Eight four, and a half out of ten. Four and a quarter out of five. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
don't think that was really necessary, yeah. but whatever. <laughs> okay, guys, well, thank you for taking part in this week's thank edition you. of Panasonic. the Film Review Show. Um, hopefully, um, if you see Adam and Paul in the local uh, news agents or in a DVD bin um, at a train station, if you see it, pick it up, put it on, put it inside your DVD player, press, press play, play, and um, give it, give it a whirl. Um, just like to offer my thanks once again to you watching and to my team of film critics, Oliver Odell and Matthew Kanaka. Thanks, guys. Thank you all. And see you next week, everyone. See you next week. Thank <laughs> you.